Heavy showers and storms continue to rumble through the eastern portion of Colorado as we go through this evening. You can see as we look at our Viero wireless network camera in Springfield, still some lightning off in the distance. And there's been plenty of heavy amounts of rain in the southeastern portions of Colorado as we've gone through the last several hours. This is the view on our live HD Doppler radar. Of course, this is the state line between Colorado and Kansas. So areas off to its west are in Colorado, areas off to the eastern in Kansas. Syracuse, you're seeing some very heavy showers and thunderstorms at this point, but for the most part, most of what we see, at least the heaviest of the stuff that we're seeing right now, is in western Kansas, although some of that heavy stuff does extend southwestward into Colorado. Bottom line, it's going to be a very rough go for the next several hours in Lamar and Springfield on 287. Outside of that, not much else to look at as we look at the live HD Doppler radar. All the greens from Denver through the Springs, Pueblo down to Walsenburg and Trinidad are false, but trust me, there will be some real showers and storms as we go through our Monday in that same I-25 stretch. Skyscan satellite and radar shows that we did see some showers and storms, of course, in El Paso and Taylor counties earlier on this evening. Those have since pushed way off to the east and have now begun to fade as they continue to push eastward from Colorado into Kansas. We're going to continue to see those chances for showers and storms, though. But before that happens, before that happens tomorrow, we'll drop down to the lower to middle 60s in the Springs. Canyon City, Pueblo for tonight, 61 in the Springs, 63 in Canyon City, 64 in Pueblo. Middle 60s out in the plains, 40s and 50s up in the mountains. Zooming it out now, I want to give you an idea of why we're seeing so many showers and storms over the next couple of days. This is the sky cast as we go through tomorrow morning or tonight at midnight. You can see that there is low pressure and there are several of these frontal boundaries that are helping to serve as a focal point, helping to serve as a trigger mechanism for some of the strong showers and storms that we've been picking up over the last several hours in Colorado. This will continue to be a trigger mechanism for more showers and storms as we go through our day on Monday and into our Tuesday. Plenty of monsoonal moisture, of course, continues to give us lots of rain as well. Continues to give us lots of chances for some heavy amounts of rain as we go through the next couple of days. Skycast as we go through our Monday morning. Look at that band pushing its way through the springs in Pueblo on our morning commute. A bit overdone, I think, but still there's a possibility for rain as we go through tomorrow morning. Really, the best chances are going to be tomorrow afternoon and as we go into our Tuesday afternoon as well. At least a small chance for them on Tuesday afternoon. We're talking about strong storms in this case, heavy rain possible. And as we go through our Monday, some of the storms are going to be on the strong to severe side. That's why you see this area in yellow from the I-25 corridor all the way over to the Kansas line. Areas in green, of course, have a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms as well. A generalized idea of what the rain totals are going to look like as we go through our Monday evening in the springs will pick up about three tenths of an inch according to the skycast, much more than that down towards Truckton. Pueblo, about a quarter of an inch for you according to the skycast, and the heaviest totals, not surprisingly, are going to be out in the eastern plains. High temperatures tomorrow held in check by those clouds and by that front, 82 in springs, 84 in Canyon City, 89 in Pueblo, lower 90s out in the plains, 70s, and even some 60s up in the high country. Spring seven day forecast calls for a continued cool down by Wednesday. We're only sitting at 72, but then temperatures rebound. It's mid to upper 80s Friday through next weekend with a small chance for showers and storms returning as we go through the weekend as well. Pueblo, you'll be sitting in the upper 80s to near 90 tomorrow. Then it's mid to upper 70s on Wednesday. Lower 90s are back in the forecast Friday and Saturday. Upper 80s on Sunday. Canyon City, you'll be in the middle 80s tomorrow. Then it's middle 70s by Wednesday. Drop about 10 degrees. Then we'll rise up to near 90 again Friday and Saturday. And as we look at our Teller County forecast, we see lower 60s on Wednesday for the high. That's very pleasant, especially compared to what it has been. Yeah. Middle 40s for the lows. Break out the jackets. Crazy. Yeah. Wednesday and Thursday mornings. How about that? Sneak peek of what's coming. Yep, I'm not right. ready yet. <laughs> All right, Jay, thank you so much. Gangster Rap comes.